This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Oh, ah, ah, and he's throwing his parts. Bring in the interns. Bring Lorenzo. Hey guys, it's Jordy here for CineCam.net and welcome to Sundays. That's right, every Sunday we are going to upload an entertaining video and we're going to kick it off with a reactment series. You know, we've done a react video a little while back and it was a huge success. So we're going to do this a little bit more often. So let's get started with this. Uh, if you're new to the channel, by the way, guys, I'm a filmmaker for 10 years now. So this pretty long, I'm getting old. Anyways, uh, what we do here on the channel is uh, recreations of visual effects of movies and music videos. So that's why Jenig over there, he made a playlist for me with music videos that we haven't recreated yet, I think, or maybe we did. Anyways, I'm going to try and figure out how they made the visual effects work in their music videos, and then I'm gonna give my thoughts about it. So let's start with it. First, I want to say uh, there's a little bit uh, a different concept to it. You have to explain the effects, but you also have to guess from which time they are. Okay, I like that. All right, let's get started with this. Special effects through time. Can you guess the date? I want to see some MTV music, music videos. Those were the best. Aha, take on me. That's pretty cool. Oh, wow. It's an old music video. Um, Aha, from which time is that? Early 90s or end 80s somewhere? I'm guessing the 80s. 88? Is it 88? 1988. It's not. It's 1985. 85? Wow, this is pretty good. You know, one thing is, is I'm not gonna say easy, uh, but it's okay to make stop motion out of drawing, so that's okay, but then the whole connection, like here, where she is taking the hand of those scribble effects. That is some high-end stuff. And back then, there was no After Effects where you could draw a mask. That's probably how they've done it. It's like a real hand, and then afterwards, they kind of just draw the scribble lines on it. That's how they've done it. Pretty sure about that. The next one, Weird Sleeper. Oh, that, that's just stop motion. I've seen that, yeah, I've seen it. That is very well made, very well made. A lot of work hours went into this thing. It's pretty simple because there are just a few pictures, a few, a lot of pictures that you have to take. And uh, you kind of have to see that your motion sits right. That is important. But other than that, I think it's, it's pretty okay with the fans here. They, they're kind of making these exaggerated movements, which really sell the effect. I really like it. I love it a lot. Basically, you could make this in the early, early 1900s because it's stop motion. Back then, you actually had stop motion because you had like 15 frames per second. So. <laughs> I'm gonna guess something. 98? What? 90, no. What? 2000? I don't know. Oh, this is pretty cool. Wow, have you seen that? That is so clever. So here she's falling and then suddenly she drops into the water and there's just some bed sheets. And then you kind of have these small little tissues around it, which represent the bubbles. I really like the detail in this music video. Like, when she's underwater now, her hair is not flat anymore. It's kind of, like, floating. <laughs> it's floating in the water, and I really like that. They've paid attention to the details, which is good. You want to pay attention to the details. 2007? Spot on. Yeah, I see it, <laughs> I see it oh, on my screen. Damn. Cheater! <laughs> Cheater! I didn't put the dates in there. <laughs> All right, the next one. Stripping to bone. What? Stripping to bone. Robbie Williams. Oh, ah. <laughs> I don't like those kind of things. Oh, come on, that's nasty. Ah. <laughs> I've never seen that music video before. And he knows that I don't like these kind of things. He knows that. That's actually a shirt. I don't think there's much visual effects going on in here. I think it's all practical. I said that in a previous React video as well. If you can do something practically, do it practically. It's always going to turn out better in most cases. Uh, because with visual effects, you need to have a lot of tweaking, a lot of detail to get it look realistic. This is again one of those examples. Uh, don't do this with After Effects, for example. Um, just make like a shirt that kind of represents your, your skin. And uh, then underneath that, wear something that looks like, like flesh. Uh, so yeah, I think that's probably how they've done it. Oh, come on, <laughs> it takes it further. <laughs> I've never seen this before. 
Ah, and he's throwing his parts. And who comes up with these ideas? Come on, who, who's in that meeting room saying, well, let's have Robin Williams like tear his own skin apart and let him just throw his flesh all over the place. That's a good idea. <laughs> well, these days it's more about sexy stuff. Back in the MTV days, they were more experimenting. So I'm guessing the MTV time, which was the 90s. Give me a date. 1998. It's 2000. Ah, two years. Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah. All right, let's get to the next one. Oh, is this our sponsor Skillshare? Yes, it is. If you would like to learn how to create such visual effects yourself, guys, then definitely check out Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where you'll find some of my classes on video editing. But what makes this platform so interesting is that with a premium membership, you'll actually gain unlimited access to all the classes and communities so that you can pick what's right for you. For instance, recently I've been diving into photography, which you might have seen from me on Instagram. Now, videography and photography is really different from each other. And that's why I've been going through documentary photography, capturing places and people from Amy Vitelli. She's a National Geographic photographer and shares some very interesting tips in a very short and up-tempo class. And you know, that's what I really like about it. You can watch the entire class in half an hour and gain so much new information, so that leaves you with more time to practice and watch more classes. So I can highly recommend you check it out, guys, because there's no reason not to, because I am very happy to give you two months completely for free by following that first link in the description below. And now let's get back to the real next music video. Caution, wet floor. That's what she said. Jamiro Kai, virtual insanity. Okay, this is pretty cool. Um, what I like about this is because it's not just masking out a sofa and then just moving it around, nope. Because you can see a perspective going on in here. You can, first you kind of see the, the, the front of the uh, sofa and then when the sofa is kind of gliding over the floor, you can start seeing its back. So there's clearly a perspective going on. Oh, he's also walking there. Oh, I, I get it. Um, it's, yeah. Probably like this, it's the camera that is moving. The camera is moving to the left and to the right. And after that, they've kind of stabilized that so that the actor or, or the person in black stays in the middle. And then in post-production, they've moved him to the left and to the right. Am I, this is complicated. This, this is getting is complicated. really weird. Really weird. Why don't you move the sofa with a, with motion controlled, like, like a motorized RC car? Now you can see who does the copycat effects around here. It's me. <laughs> okay, it's Jenny. Of course. So yeah, they've just, you can yeah, they probably put everything on rails here, and then they kind of painted away the rails afterwards. I was thinking about the technique that we did with the hotel rooms, where uh, we shot this hotel room um, on a dolly system, and then in uh, post production we would stabilize that, so that way we kind of had the the hotel room in the middle, but you would kind of see this perspective, which allowed us to make this infinite loop of hotel rooms. I thought they did it this way. Um, but apparently not. And of course not. It's going to be way simpler with, uh, or easier if you would do this on rails. You want to get a date, right? Give me the date. 2000? No, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Still got it wrong. <laughs> 96. Everybody saw this one. Oh yeah! Okay, go! They make... Wow, they make some really cool music videos, guys. Check them out on YouTube. Okay, go, because this is not the only one. So what you're seeing probably right here is the real time, although it seems like it's speed up. It's real time. So this is the real time shot of the music video. And after that, they've just slowed it down. But now pay attention to the details in this work. Like he's holding this, this book. So everything tells a story. There's so much detail going on in here and they needed to have a ton of light. Because this was probably shot on a Phantom or something, like a high-speed camera, so your shutter angle is going super fast. It's a super fast shutter speed, so you need super amount much of light. That was a great sentence. Uh, what I really love about this music video is that there is no special effects in there, only practical effects. In essence, in theory, everyone could make this. You don't need knowledge of of uh, technical programs. I mean, everyone can go to the Home Depot, buy some paint buckets, put some explosives in there, Murica, and then uh, explode it. <laughs> if something goes wrong there, like like a couple of paint buckets wouldn't explode, or like when he's flapping his book, like something goes wrong there, and they have to take like like reshoot that thing, even though it's not a long shot, it's just three seconds or something. 
But who's going to clean up that mess? They're like, hey, bring in the interns. Bring Lorenzo. Bring Lorenzo, he's smiling now. <laughs> oh, I remember that from the early days of Cinecom, always making coffee and cleaning up here. I'm still doing that. <laughs> Give me a day, Jordy. I don't know, somewhere in the 2010 plus, um, 2014, I don't know. Yes. Yes? Yes. Spot on. They've probably shot this as well on one of these Cine bots. So it's uh, one of those Cine arms, like I mentioned before. And uh, you would have the camera therefore could go very fast because you can program that thing making very fast movements. Really cool. Am I seeing double? I only see one Janik and one Lorenzo so far. Oh, here, Nickelodeon. <laughs> this is from Nickelodeon. I know that because in between the Nickelodeon videos, they would play this music video or the, or the music from it. That was from my, I, I know the date, 19, uh, 2000, not battle, 2004? It's 2003. Ah! This is green screen, obviously. No, it's not green screen, it's blue screen because they're wearing green. You know, a fun fact right here, guys, now that I'm thinking about it, um, Digital cameras are more sensitive to green, so that's why we're using green screens with digital cameras these days. But back in the day, film cameras, film was more sensitive to blue, so therefore they would pick more often blue keys. But of course, if you're wearing green, you can't really put a green screen in there. As far as, as, as the movement goes, they also use one of those programmable uh, cine bots or robot arms because um, as you can see here, they're making a movement and if you're going to make multiple shots, uh, of your subject on a green screen and putting them on top of each other, you want to make sure that the movement stays exactly the same. So all in all, this is not a really a, a, a hard effect to recreate. You just need the right equipment. Uh, it's just green screening, putting it on top of each other, and you have this thing. It was like going going back to those prom nights of the 70s, you know? No, it's <laughs> just looking real. What? what is he saying? It is that kind of feeling. It is that feeling. How would you know? Oh yeah, I don't know. From movies. Okay. <laughs> and that's it, guys. Those were the music videos. Really fun. That was a great playlist, Janik. I really loved it. These were some really nice things. We saw some nice visual effects, some nice practical effects. All in all, guys, make sure to subscribe because we're gonna do this every Sunday. Now, guys, what should we react to next week? You can vote up there. We got a couple of uh, nice ideas. Just vote what you would like to see me react to next week, next Sunday. And if you would like to see me every Sunday, then make sure to hit that uh, subscribe button and also the little bell next to it so that you get notified. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you Skillshare for the support. And as always, stay creative. Are we gonna get demonetized? No, it's completely wrong. Okay, it's out, out of tone. Hey, hey, hey. Stop, Danik, we're gonna, gonna get demonetized. Don't sing the songs. Oh, I love this music video.